Well, that was a that was a busy morning of Apple product announcements. I yeah. will tell you that. My fingers, oh, they're still, oh, they're sore from all the typing. Numb from the typing? All the typing and all the product announcements. So they announced a lot more than just the iPad mini, though. Yes, Apple said they had a little more to show us, and they, they, they had a lot more to show us, actually. Yeah, actually. obsoleted this thing. Yes, your poor, your poor third I, generation iPad. I just got this. It's no longer the new iPad, no. as Apple would call it. Right. People like myself who promised our, our wives that we were going to get an iPad and then forgot to get it, now we look like crafty, uh, crafty uh, shoppers crafty at last. Crafty consumers, right, yes. yes. So they also introduced the, the 7, or the 7.9. Right. The more I, like an 8 inch. The iPad mini, yeah. Yeah. For, for, the marquee announcement that everyone was was expecting a little bit i will be honest a little bit eh. a little lame uh well i wouldn't lame lame I would no a little lame if well, you say it's a little lame i'm surprised it's 329. yeah the the price point i think is something that that is, took That's, a lot of people by surprise i think it's huge many like, people were expecting like maybe 75 bucks cheaper 250 I thought 250 more for sure. competitive with uh with the likes of your kindle fires and your so kindle fire your nexus, nexus sevens, sevens right they're all 199 right is, is the entry point for those things and for 16 gigs as well so mm -hmm. it's not like they're giving you more they made it apple made a big deal about how it's a much nicer tablet and i'm sure that'll be fine and i'm sure they'll sell a whole bunch of these because hey it's a cheaper ipad mm -hmm. it's definitely a cheaper ipad and people want cheaper ipads our friend and colleague they're, uh, Chris Breen drew the comparison to the iPod Nano, which was when it was first introduced, a little bit pricey. At 250, Apple would have sold like uh, Apple would have stopped people from buying Kindle Fires and Nexus Sevens. At 329, I don't think they do. I think a 200 dollars tablet versus a 329 tablet, I think people still are going to buy. You know, five million Kindle Fire HDs. This, it this it depends for the people that are that are shopping on price. They they right. will sell that. I think Apple, after a dozen years of covering this company, yeah. they they really don't do the the race to the bottom on pricing. They no. have their price point and they have their market of people who want to. Pay I that expected price point. they were gonna come in 50 bucks more be more expensive but like 50 bucks more expensive where you'd go oh i'll pay a little more for the better sure. thing sure so also where they kind of jacked up the price is on the the new imac which the, the old imac started at what 1100 or 1199 i think and the new one's 100 bucks more the entry level right but it's a new imac it's right thin totally new very thin in 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 fact in many ways it's like apple held an ipad uh product announcement and then a mac product release broke out because uh, really uh, it is the iMac to me was the the most eye-catching of the announcements because my goodness that iMac looks like it needs to eat a sandwich or two it, yeah. in a way for, for the the viewer at home might look and say here is the old iMac sort of pleasingly plump but you know getting a little long in the tooth hadn't been updated since May 2011 here's the new thin iMac look at that the, it's, it's, it's I want to little... say it's 44 percent thinner Eight pounds lighter, well, my goodness. Well, all right, so 44% on the edge. Yeah. It really balloons up in the middle. Well, in the back, because you have to get the you have to get those gonna, parts in there somewhere. But they have good parts. It's it's mm -hmm. a full Ivy Bridge Core i7s, uh, Kepler NVIDIA GPUs, mm -hmm. you know, GeForce uh, 640s, which would play any modern game. So they didn't leave out those Mac gamers, which I was worried that they did. Mm -hmm. They uh, did leave out those Mac gamers on the new the new uh, MacBook. I was really disappointed by that. The right. 13 inch MacBook. Thinner Retina display, which is totally awesome. Mm -hmm. Lighter, better ports and connections on the side. Got rid of the optical drive, but they also got rid of the discrete GPU, which means like if it's a shame. I just thought it was a shame to have this super high res screen and then to drive it off Intel integrated graphics. It seems like I a think it's issue. it's it's Apple filling out its product line. Apple yeah. does the does the thing where they introduce a new technology. Hey, here's our 15 inch MacBook Pro, and then they slowly build it out and yeah. bring up the specs and this is the the latest in the the journey of a thousand steps with the uh with its laptop lineup of course mac mini also introduced today not yeah. as eye-catching looks the same except for the usb 3.0 ports and if you you can a lot spot, of them four of them yeah yeah four but of that them. back of that thing is just loaded with ports yes but otherwise yeah. looks about the same as your 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 older version the, yeah. the the true the true beauty lies within is so many things in life with the uh with the faster uh, Core i5 and yeah, uh, Core i7 7 processor for yeah, the uh, more storage, for the all kinds more of expensive stuff. one. Yeah, I think that product, when Intel releases new chips next year, 
that that version of that product is going to be a killer home theater PC. Um, the, the much more powerful graphics coming in Intel's next generation of chips. And when you stuff those in a little $600 box, you sure. know, that's going to be awesome. Sure. I love buying one of those. And of course, new versions of iBooks and iBooks Author, as, as uh, all of us were surely anticipating uh. and hoping for. Well, you know, really busy day, lots, lots to cover, lots to get back to. Yeah. I got to get back to work. I will catch you on the flip side. All right. And uh, this is basically worthless now. Yoink! <laughs>